I started when I graduated from college. I was an art, a painting major, an education major, so my first job was at a gallery to kind of learn the business. But I, I always painted landscapes. That was kind of like my, my go-to thing, and um, I just loved it. And I was really the only artist at TCU that did landscapes, but didn't have my first show until 92. I went to, to Southwest Texas State and got a graphics degree. They called it communications back then. Worked for a design firm here in San Antonio, I think for about eight years. And then I uh, decided to become a school teacher, went back to school at Trinity, got my master's and taught for 15 years. Started to get tired of that. Like, what do I do? What, what do I like doing? So I've always liked making things with my hands. You meet, met me first. And then I motivated you. So I, I quit teaching and just called the foundry and asked, um, how do you make a sculpture? Everything's trial and error in art, in the art world, no matter if you go to art school or if you don't. I mean, just being a painting major, no one taught me color theory. I learned that on my own. <laughs> and I feel like that's my specialty is color. And um, maybe it is because no one taught me I had to learn on my own. So I really did a lot of investing in right. color. And, and then when I started coming to the studio, I, I started seeing, developing, having control of my own creation and being able to um, make the, the colors that I choose, even though, you know, obviously I'm getting the inspiration from reality, I'm changing it to where I, what I want. I'm a big hunter fisherman, so my whole life I've viewed game and watched it and understand their behaviors and things. So by doing the things I'm doing, it, it gives motion mm -hmm. to it, something that doesn't have motion and uh, humor. Well, I'm, I'm super attracted to the dramatic, like drama. Yeah. And so um, I've always wanted kind of the vista, the full view and capturing the whole landscape with the foreground, middle ground, background. Well, and I've, I've noticed you throughout, throughout our, your career, you experiment. You've done collages, yes. you used to paint tiles around there. Yes. You, did, you did all sorts of things. It's that, fun. It's super yeah. fun. People are obsessed with West, the West and will always be obsessed with the West. Well, when we have a show together, sometimes it's kind of cool because my 3D pieces are around and our paintings are on the walls and they kind of go together because right. a lot of my things are related to the same uh, mm -hmm. landscapes. And, and what's really cool about San Antonio, the art scene, is all the artists get along. We're mm -hmm. friends with tons of artists yeah. and That's really, so really well established. Some big time artists and they're very supportive of us. Be but, true to yourself. I, if I stopped at everything that you know got in my way, I would never create. Just, just create, create every day. Just yep. work, work, paint, work, paint, work. Paint, because paint. that's really how you improve and be as prolific as you possibly can.